Substituted parenting, what is it? All parents have a right to be supported with their parenting. But sometimes, when a parent needs a lot of support, professionals can get worried about who is actually doing the parenting. Is it the parent or is it the professional? Professionals often call this substituted parenting and they think substituted parenting is bad for children. When this happens, social workers might go to court and ask the judge to take the children away from their parents. So it's really important that parents and professionals understand what professionals mean by substituted parenting. And it's really important that parents and professionals know what they might be able to do to stop substituted parenting from happening. Substituted parenting is a term that's used in the family law courts to validate and defend learning disabled parents having their children removed from them without their consent. It means that we get pushed to one side, we get stuck with professionals, we feel alienated, we feel like we're being set up to fail, we feel like people are taking over our job, and we feel like we're being discriminated against. This is what parents say often happens. Don't do that, I'll do that. No, it's okay, I can do it. No, I told you, go, I'll do that, go and sit down. What's up? I thought you had some support today. Don't really like this work. She tells me what to do instead of helping me to do it. Yeah, I know what you mean. It feels like I'm playing football and I keep getting sent off for no reason. Yeah, I was literally just making breakfast for Elsa and she came in, took over and sent me in here. Really? Well, I'm going to say something. It's not on. No, 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 don't. Don't. We need to stay friendly with her. She could say something to social services like, we're not good parents. Fine. Daddy, can you eat to me? Of course, come, come here. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. I know you can't read. Why do you not watch TV? No, that's all right. I know I can't read, but I can still tell it to me on where. Maybe you can help. Well, Dave, how are you going to help Elsa when she starts school? That's all right. We thought about it, and they have a homework club. It'll be easier if I just do it. Fine. You'll be mean. I asked her to do it. What could the support worker have done to make this situation better or not happen at all? For example, the support worker could have asked, Are you okay with that? How would you like me to help? Would you like to do this together? How things could be different. Hi love, how are things going? You still having problems with your support worker? No, we sat down and had a chat to talk about some of the problems we've been having. It's been great. She's been supporting me to do stuff with Elsa and she's letting us get on with things. She's only supporting me if I ask for it. It feels like she's starting to treat us as parents. It's been great these past couple of weeks. I'm sorry if we've been difficult sometimes. No, don't apologise. It's my job to understand and work with you. I just worry about getting it right. Being a mum can be really difficult sometimes. I've got children myself and I find it hard sometimes. Thanks for all the support you've been giving lately. It's been brilliant. My advocate's coming later today. It'd be really good if we could all sit down and chat together. That'll be good. Parents need an advocate and network of support. This is Claire, my advocacy worker. Hi Claire, nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you, the work you've been doing with Piper and her family. It's nice to meet you too. Would you like to sit down? Thank you. Having an advocate helps parents to feel more confident, have a voice and give opinions about the support they need. It is important parents have space and support to share any worries or concerns about people who are working with them. 
This helps parents not to feel so afraid to work well with others. Parents need a network of support that includes friends and family, together with others from health and social services and community services when they need it. It is really important that parents feel valued and get the right support at the right time and in the right way. I am willing to accept support and I do accept support. Support only works when it's the right support for the learning disabled parent. So for me, my support tends to be more emotional than practical. It didn't start out that way. I started out needing more practical support than I get now. But as I've developed and progressed, I need less physical support and more of the emotional support. More information can be found on the Working Together with Parents Network website or by emailing them at the following address. This project was guided by our Parents Advisory Group, Pip Bolton, from Skills for People, Ashley Black, Mary Campbell, Ellen Collard, Melanie Collard, Janet James, Kay Jones. From Speak Up Self Advocacy, Vicky Farnsworth, Alison Owen, Annie Ferguson. The video was created by the advisory group and starred Pip, Kev and Willow Bolton, Mary Campbell, Sally Hoban and Beth Tarleton and produced by Speak Up Self Advocacy in partnership with C. Ferguson Media. It is based on real life experiences for some families.